Evgeny, Evgeny Onyegin, cousin, how long have you been back? A week, maybe two. Where have you been? Traveling. For six years. Is the world that interesting? Sometimes, yes. Congratulations on your marriage. It was three years ago, but thank you. Oh, I apologize, I should have written. Indeed you should, apology accepted. Yes, sure. There's a woman. Which one? She's just... There, in the red. I'll introduce you. Who is she? Come. Delighted. Of course. Ah. Will you excuse me? I'd like to make an introduction. But of course. Good evening. Allow me to introduce my cousin, Evgeny Onyegin. Monsieur Onyegin. Mademoiselle Larin. We've met before. Really? Yes, cousin. I saw you, mademoiselle, but I wasn't sure that it was you. And? Is it? Yes. You seem surprised. No. Forgive me, merely. Will you? Forgive me, Evgeny. Tatiana's my wife. Congratulations to you both. Thank you. Uh, perhaps you might honor an old acquaintance with the next dance, Princess. In truth, I do not care for dancing, but thank you. Dearest, would you excuse me? I'm glad you could come. It's true, she never dances. I apologize, I was not aware no. that she... Okay, my apologies. Mm. Will you excuse me? A dull but necessary conversation ends. Cosmopolitan or philosoph? Bon viveur, please. Gentlemen. Perhaps we'll call on you tomorrow. Cards? Perhaps. Ah. The premature exit. Nous Vous c'est la même chose. Never really liked him.
What did the Austrian envoy have to say? Ah, oh, the Austrian envoy. He spent the entire evening trying to make me reveal state secrets. <laughs> and on Jaeger, did you speak further with him? No. He left early, I think. We should try to see more of him now that he's back in Petersburg. Mm -hmm. Strange fellow. He seemed different. Everything all right, sir? These cases, Guillaume. Sir? Unpack them. Uh, <clears throat> we are staying in Petersburg, sir? Yes. Can I bring you anything, sir? No. Just go back to bed. I write to you. It's all I can do. And now I know it is in your power to punish my presuming heart. Yet if you have one drop of pity, you'll not abandon me to my unhappy fate. I am in love with you, and I must tell you this, or my heart, my heart which belongs to you, will surely break. I would never have revealed my shame to you if just once a week I might see you, exchange a word or two, and then think day and night of one thing alone till our next meeting. But you're unsociable, they say, that the country bores you. Is it true? <laughs> 